Hey guys, Chris here for Tomans Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will walk you through all the main acoustic guitar string types. In this series, I want to show you how to set up your guitars and basses and how to fix the most common issues without using too many special tools. Let's check out the main steel string acoustic guitar string types, how they feel under the fingers and how they sound. Later on in the video, we'll talk about string gauges too. We did the same video already for electric guitars. If you want to check that out, it's going to be linked in the description box. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. It's important to say that the strings I'm using in this video are only examples of their kinds. You can get nearly all kinds of strings from all manufacturers. The first type is bronze strings. These are the traditional acoustic guitar strings. They're made out of 80% copper, and 20% zinc most of the time. Expect a bright and open sound. I'll take bronze strings as standard in today's video and I'll compare all the other ones to these. You will also find vintage bronze strings with 85% uh, copper and only 15% zinc. These will sound more mellow than the normal 80-20 bronze strings. Phosphor bronze strings. These will have a darker sort of red-brown color and a warmer, more mellow sound than bronze strings. Many prefer these thanks to their pleasant tone, but you should not use them on a guitar that already has a dark and mellow sound. <laughs> Next, coated strings. These are basically normal bronze or phosphor bronze strings with a protective coating. Pros, this coating will of course extend the lifespan of the strings immensely because they don't corrode for a long time. Cons, most coated strings just sound different. You will not get this snappy open sound of non-coated strings with elixirs and similar. That being said, some even like this spongier sound, so it's a matter of taste really. The Dario XT strings are also coated, but they have a different and thinner coating method. They might not last as long as Elixir's, but they feel and sound pretty much like non-coated strings. Let's talk about advanced and hardened strings. The two biggest string manufacturers started offering premium quality strings a couple of years ago. Dadario started making the nickel bronze strings and Ernie Ball offers the aluminum bronze and the paradigms. The aluminum and nickel bronze strings use different materials, but they aim for the same thing, which is clarity, enhanced projection and durability. <music> Ernie also makes the Paradigms, which sound and feel like the normal Slinkies, but offer better durability. <music> Pros, they last way longer, so you don't have to worry about breaking them. Cons, well, they're more expensive, and since they're not coated, they will not keep their brand new sound throughout their lifetime. Round core strings. 
In the early days of guitars, all strings had a round core instead of hexagonal. This changed since hex core strings are easier to produce, so nowadays most strings have that. Unlike most modern strings, these DRs do have a round core. And what does that mean? I explained this in our electric guitar string type episode, so uh, let's go over it again, but real short. Hex core strings will be stiffer, corrode faster, and will have a brighter tone. Round core strings will be a little warmer, will have a little less initial pick attack, but will last longer due to less corrosion. They also feel softer due to this round core, which is something many love about them. Silk and steel strings. If you want lighter string tension, a mellow tone, and just less projection, silk and steel strings are great. These will have wound strings with a thin steel core and some silk around it. It's great for players who struggle with normal steel strings or who are after a sweet and unique tone. Gold strings. There are people with nickel and steel allergy. Don't worry, you can get gold strings for acoustic guitars too. This one, for example, is safe to use if you have that kind of allergy. Let's talk about string gauges. This is of course very subjective since everyone prefers a different feel and as I told in the electric guitar string episode, there is no right or wrong. Standard string gauges for acoustic guitars are 11s or 12s, which refer to the thinnest string's thickness in inches. That's gonna be 11 or 12 thousandths of an inch. Generally speaking, the higher the gauges, the more volume and tonal richness you'll get but that very much depends on the player and the style. If you have a heavy hand, this theory works, but if you pick soft, you're better off with lighter gauges because the picking energy will not be enough to make thick strings sound any good. And now it's time for our final test round. Let's do a direct comparison. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want us to cover in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. Are you any goosebumps yet? <laughs> no, I don't get from that. No, no. If somebody, if somebody rubs a carpet, that's horrible. <laughs> I just wish we had a chalkboard at this point. No, that's fine for me also. What? <laughs> Final. Test ride! <laughs>